in himself in every place in every situation Lord for being all around we thank you this afternoon we welcome you to Day Spring International Ministries where this is the place for a refuge and a filling station for the spiritually wound wounded and we invite you each and every Sunday in the afternoon beginning at 1 30 to join us as we fellowship together in praise and worship as we worship in God is all around worship experience and at 2 o'clock, as you've already joined us, you can join us again by television, by online TV network, online at www.wain.tv, Wayne Studios. So praise God this afternoon. I tell you, I'm fooled this afternoon. We had a great worship experience at uh, 1.30 and beginning on until it was time to come on the air. And those of you who weren't able to join us, I just want to tell you that there was a song that was sang this morning, this afternoon, that it talked about that the sky is the limit to yeah. what you can have. Yeah. Yeah. The clock sisters yeah. led us in that praise and worship. And, and I, I just want to just briefly share that I heard Joel Osteen this morning, and he was talking about there were three things necessary for us to not limit God, for God to be at his best in our lives. And he talked about being in the right place at the right time. But he said the third critical part is having the right frame of mind, believing that God is able to do what it is that you expect and not limit him. And that just that the sky is the limit to what we can have if we have that right frame of mind. So we welcome you. We welcome you. If you have not done so at this time, we ask that you would text a friend, that you will call a friend, do whatever you have to do, and get them to www.wain.tv and join us this afternoon. We are in store for a tremendous blessing. We thank God for the holidays that we've had the opportunity to spend with family and friends and loved ones. And as we continue, and this week we're approaching the new year, you know, we just want to take a moment and, you know, just determine if there's anybody that has a testimony that you would like to give at this time. You know, I'm not sure if anyone in the house it, it has a word to share or God has placed upon you to share a blessing that you've received. I'm going to just pause a moment and, and see if there's 
we we have yes come on up minister alonzo wilson and share with us brother god bless you Amen. I, I dare not let this opportunity pass without giving praise and honor to my father for which he has done for me and, and others that, that he cares about, that he loves. And my personal testimony is that a few, a few weeks ago I had the opportunity to come back here to Atlanta and celebrate the Thanksgiving holiday. And immediately after that, the next day, it was like Satan had it, he had it out for me and right. tried to take me out. Uh, in, in an automobile accident, everything that happened in that accident spoke death. From the impact to the total collision to the after effects, yeah. and the enemy was surprised that God said not so. All right, amen. amen. I, I am grateful that I am standing here today. Yes. Hearing and seeing the, the sharing of others who saw and witnessed what happened yeah. lets me know that it wasn't nothing but by the hand and the grace of God that I'm still here. And even in the midst of that impact, I saw something that my eyes can't really explain. Mm -hmm. That lets me know that God is yet with me. He said a long time ago that I will never leave you nor forsake you. And he proved it even then. Even though he's proved it time and time again, he's yeah. proved it even then when the enemy tried yeah. to remove me from this place. Yeah. But God said I still have a work for you to do. And I'm grateful that I can approach uh, with expectancy. Amen. For the sky is the limit Amen. that what God has begun and what he has already begun to do in 2015 will be completed. Yeah. That which is meant to be completed in 2015, no matter what the enemy tried, yeah. I'm still here to watch God perform and, and honor his word. Yeah. And I'm expecting to cross over in 2016 because I know my Lord likes the praise that I give him. Amen. And I have a whole Amen. abundance of All praise right. to give him in 2016. Right. So yeah. I am looking forward to the blessings yeah. that he has already bestowed upon me. To looking forward to the completion of the blessings and the call that he's placed on my life. Amen. And But my testimony is that the enemy tried to remove me, but God said not so. I Amen. 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 Love you, my Bless brother. You, Thank, brother. You. Thank, you. Amen. Thank you for sharing. Minister Alonzo Wilson, we thank you, and we too join you in testifying to God's graciousness and mercy in saving and protecting you and Michelle in that situation. And, you know, as you've described it to us and others after you went back and were able to get different perspectives, as you've said, it's nothing but clear indication that God said, no, not yet. So thank it. Uh, it reminds me of Job when, uh, when Satan came to him and said, you know, it's only because you put a hedge about him. You won't let me touch him. He said, okay, I'll let you go, but don't take his life. You know, so we bless and praise God with you, my brother, and thank you for sharing. This afternoon, we want to continue with our worship experience by going into the Word of God and sharing scripture reading and worshiping with that. We're going to ask our uh, sister in the ministry, Minister Pamela Alexander, to come forth and share the Word of God. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Amen. Always wonderful to see you all, especially this great Sunday as we've finished the Christmas celebration, but it's always in our hearts and as we go forward into the new year. The message that we have today, or the, the scripture that we have for you today, is from Matthew 19. So get out your swords, that's your Bibles. Amen. Matthew 19, whether it be a hard paper Bible, or whether it be electronic on your phones right. nowadays, we have no excuse right. not to have the Bible with yeah. us. So Matthew 19, and we're going to read to you verses 23 through 26. And I'm going to read to you from the King James Version. Again, that's Matthew 19, verses 23 through 26. And it reads as thus. Then Jesus said unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Verse 25, when his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? Verse 26, but Jesus beheld them, and said unto them, With men this is impossible. With men this is impossible. But with God all things are possible. Amen, amen, amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his word that with God 
all things are possible. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Minister Alexander, I tell you, it's, it just fills my heart when I just see the Spirit of God just weave that thread through the tapestry of the experience each and every Sunday. And to hear you read that scripture that again fits in with the praise and worship experience, that the sky is the limit. It says with, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So right time, right place. And right mindset. Amen. 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 Praise God. I tell you, we're, we're in the spirit of worship, and we know God has manifested himself here already. And we pray for those of you who are out there and joined us by way of Internet. We pray that you feel the presence of God during this experience with us. And as we continue with our worship experience, we're going to invite back up our minister, Alonzo Wilson, who will provide us this afternoon's Prayer. Thank you. Amen. 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 Yet again, we praise our Lord and our Savior, Jesus yeah. Christ. We thankful for our Father for this yeah. opportunity. Yeah. With every heart bowed, every eye closed. Yeah. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, your Son, our Savior, we come boldly before you and we say thank you. Thank, thank, you, Lord. thank you, Father, that you allowed us to see fit to witness another day and to give you the praise for you and you alone are worthy. Mm -hmm. Father, we pray that every heart that is yet present in this place, Father, and is prepared to receive what thus saith the Lord, as our lovely apostle speaks, Lord, from the throne of heaven, that which you've given unto her. Lord, we pray that those who are yet on their way, that you'll continue to open passes, Lord, that they will be able to arrive here safe and without any harm, danger, or done unto them, Father. But they will walk into this place with a mindset of worship, with a mindset of praise, and with the expectancy of receiving, Lord. For we know that as believers, there's nothing impossible unto you, but with us, things are uh, impossible, Father. And we are grateful that we can come boldly before you and ask what we will, Father, and believe that we will receive it for your word says it will be done as so. And we thank you right now, Father. We just pray that your traveling mercies be upon those. We pray that your heart prepares, uh, that your love prepares the hearts of the listeners, Lord, that we might receive that which we have need of, that which our hearts desire, and Lord, that which we don't even know we need, Lord, yeah. right now, but we know that yeah. you know, for you are the searcher of our hearts, Father, yeah. and you intend all things good to be bestowed upon us, Father, and we are yeah. thankful. Lord, we pray your blessing to be upon the listeners, Lord, those who might be watching by electronic media, Father, that even as we are present in this place where your spirit is evident, your spirit is already filled. We pray that you would go through the electronic airways, Father, and that you would fill even those places, Lord, that they would be able to experience your love. They'll be able to experience your presence, Lord, that your life-giving words, Lord, would resurrect any and all dead things in their lives, Father, that they might just, where they stand, give you the awesome praise, Lord, which you are due. And Father, right now, we just pray that you would bless the heart and the, and the mouthpiece of the apostle, Lord, as he prepares to come and give what thus saith the Lord. Give her ease of delivery, Father. Give her a joyful spirit, Lord. And Lord, let her, let her just take rest in you and allow you to have your place in her, Father. We thank you, Lord, you. that it is done and yeah. it is so, yeah. that you would receive the expected praise, yeah. glory, and honor, Lord, that you have called of us on this day. Mm -hmm. And we, our hearts are prepared to give unto you that which you require. In Jesus' name, Jesus. we say thank you thank and you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Minister Wilson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I tell you, we're going to not prolong the time for you to hear from our founder, our pastor, our apostle, the Dr. Gloria Ward Wright, but I do want to offer those of you who have not had the privilege of meeting her or even hearing her allow the Lord to use her, I would just like to share with you and let you know just a little bit about her because there's so much to tell that Amen. time would not allow. But I want you to know that far, for first and foremost that she's a believer. Amen. She's a believer not only in her own faults, mind, but her actions speak. It. Her personality just exudes with that being a believer, for her to even step out and allow this ministry to begin through her skill sets that the Lord has blessed her with is an evidence of her being a believer. And so I want you to know that's the first thing. Second thing, she is a uh, very devoted wife. I tell you, she's an example that every young woman, every older woman should take towards being a helpmeet towards her husband, 
while she also serves as apostle. And so there's so much I can say about her civil rights leader and all those things, but for the sake of time, I would like to introduce to you and those of you who already know her, I present to you our apostle, our pastor, and our founder, Dr. Gloria Ward Wright. Thank you. Thank you. God bless, bless, you. bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. 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 Again, we thank God for these beautiful ministers we have here at Dayspring International Ministries. We are truly, truly blessed to have these capable ministers who are not only capable but who are spirit-filled. And so we thank God for each one of them and for each one of you who joined us in the studio. We're just most, most grateful. We have a word for you today because we've just finished Christmas. We've been awaiting Christmas, not because of the toys, not because of the gifts, but because of the coming of the Messiah, which means that he will come again. Amen. So this was just a practice for some of us now, to know what it's like. So if you have the same enthusiasm that the children had about receiving the toys, now, you ought to be enthusiastic about the coming of the yes, Lord Jesus yes. when he will come back again yes. to claim his own. He's coming back for a yes, church yes. without wrinkle. Yes, He's coming yes. back for those who are living in his righteousness. Yes. I don't know about you, but I'm excited Amen. about the coming of the Lord. Amen. If he should come back Amen. in 2016, I'm going to be ready. Come on. Ready when Jesus comes. Yeah. I want you, if you would, turn with us again to the scripture lesson for today. Because God has given me three messages. And I won't give you three, but I'll give you some of what he's given me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Would you turn now to the gospel of Matthew, St. Matthew. Uh, verse, I'm sorry, uh, chapter 19, which you heard read so eloquently by Minister Alexander. Yeah. Amen. <clears throat> when you found it, say amen. 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 And I will be reading in the contemporary English version, verses 23 through 26 of chapter 19. When you have found it, say amen. Amen. Jesus then said to his disciples, I assure you, it will be very kind, hard for rich people to enter the kingdom of heaven. I repeat, it is much harder for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God than for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. When the disciples heard this, they were completely amazed. Who then can be saved, they asked. Jesus looked straight at them and answered, This is impossible for human beings, but for God. Everything, everybody say everything. Everything, everything is possible. Yes. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. They always say it is impossible with man, but everything oh. is possible yes, is. with God. Yes, I want to speak just for a few minutes on the subject, looking for a miracle. Right. Looking for a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know that you heard earlier we were singing, looking yeah. for a miracle, and that we are expecting the impossible, yeah. and that the sky is the limit yeah. to what we can have. Yeah. Yes, yes, I said the sky is the limit yes, to what we can have. You thought you had it all for Christmas, <laughs> but you ain't seen nothing yet. All right. That's my ebonics yes, for today. Yes. But I want us to know today that Jesus was talking about, some people say it was a hyperbole. He was exaggerating. It would be easier for the, the, the camel to go through the eye of a needle. Somebody said it was actually a needle gate in Jerusalem whereby the, the camels had to get on his knees to go under. It doesn't matter what it was. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. To think that you are a wealthy person or that you've got it all and you've got it going on, that you can just sneak, sneak right on into heaven without salvation. Yeah. The bottom line is that you've got to be saved. Hello, somebody. You know, every sermon that is preached here and everywhere, the bottom line is always before, in the middle, or at the end that you must be saved. Yeah. Somebody ought to get that. Yeah. That's a miracle in itself that the Lord God sent Jesus to be that baby Jesus who would grow up to perform miracles all over the world and to teach his disciples to have faith 
We are supposed to be those disciples today to carry on the message about Jesus the Christ and about salvation. Amen. Are you ready for that? Amen. Hello, somebody. Then I thought about it today. I said, well, I wanted to talk about whose report will you believe? Mm. And, and then I said, Lord, how can I preach that and, and then preach looking for a miracle? <laughs> well, some people are looking for a miracle, and they're looking for a miracle through social media. Mm. They're looking for a miracle by going to talk to their friend at the bank. Mm. They're looking for a miracle from the news anchor and what they say. They're looking for a miracle for the weatherman to tell them that this is going to be miraculous. They're even looking at their fortune cookie, breaking it over and reading what the fortune says for them. They're reading palms. They're reading zodiac signs. But I'm here to tell you that, ooh, I can say the same thing. It would be easier for you to go through the, the, the tripod of that camera, that stand than to get into heaven if you're talking about just going on your looks, going on what you own, going on what you got for Christmas, and thinking that you've got it going on, that you got it going on, and you're more than a bag of chips. I'm here to tell you today, without Jesus, we are nothing. And aside from him, we can do nothing. All things, everybody say all things, are possible when we have Jesus in our lives. Hello, somebody. So are you there? Give that a hand of praise. Hallelujah. And then I thought about a third message. I said, well, Lord, you know, uh, hmm. all miracles matter. All miracles matter. So that was upon my heart to talk about looking for a miracle, talking about all miracles matter, and on and on. And whose report will you believe? Are you going to believe the report of the news anchor? Come on. Are you going to believe the report of those who read the zodiac signs and read your palms? I'm here to tell you, you don't have to go any further. You need to read the word of God. Amen. That's your fortune. Yes. Hello, somebody. Amen. This is your fortune. Right. This is what you have to live for. Yes. Whatever the word of God is saying to you today, this is your miracle. Yes. Because it's all about the one who came as a miracle. Yes. Hello, somebody. Amen. I have so many things that I wanted to say to you today, and I, I know time is fleeting. But miracles are, are, are not, let me tell you what they're not. Miracles are not satanic or demonic or of satanic or demonic origin. Mm-hmm. You can read that in Matthew 24, 24. They are false prophets who will also tell you some things that will happen to you in the new year. And we are approaching 2016. I don't think you need to depend on what anybody says to you if it doesn't line up with what God has told you. You see, God's not going to tell somebody to tell you something and not let you know in your spirit first. Hello, somebody. So when I even I say to you as an apostle that I believe this or I believe that God has said it in my spirit, it may not be in your radar. But it may be that you haven't seen it yet. That God shows it up later down the road. I'm here to tell you. But what happens is if it becomes true, then you'll know that that is a prophet. You'll know that that is an apostle. So I'm saying to you, what miracles are, a miracle is an extraordinary event. It is inexplicable in light of ordinary natural forces. A miracle is an event such as the observer to postulate a, a superhuman personal cause and it is an event which constitutes evidence of a sign that was given hello somebody the purpose there are purposes for miracles the purpose of miracles is to show the revelations that God would give us we have revelations that are given to us through miracles hello somebody that's why it's good for us sometimes just to be still I had to turn off the gospel music the other day. They were singing gospel songs. They had taken those uh, uh, Christmas songs and they had revved them up. I mean, you know, I thought I was in the club, club, club. Back in the day, I mean, uh, Santa at the back door. Back door Santa. I mean, come on now. And uh, everything was about back door Santa and Santa Claus is on his way. And, oh, I got a suite of Santa baby. What you going to do for me now? Come on now. We as Christians must look to the Lord God 
who is our heavenly father for our answers for what we're going to do. So the purpose is for revelation and the purpose is for edification. You read John 20, 31. The fact that Jesus Christ was born of a Virgin Mary is a miracle. Hello, somebody. That's right. The fact that she bore this beautiful child. And that's why I like that song. Mary, did you know? I told you about it last week. Her rubbing her stomach and rubbing the, 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 the one that would save the world. To save the world. Save all fathers, all mothers. And then I just said that mama knew. Hello, somebody. So then when I read the part, it says, Mary, did you know that the one whom you would deliver would deliver you? Oh, come on, somebody. You got to see that salvation in that baby right there. Come on now. He arose from the dead in bodily form, leaving an empty grave. How much miracle would you ask for? Hello, somebody. Are you looking for a miracle today? then you don't have to look any further. You can read the word of God. There are miracles after miracles. Hello, somebody. <clears throat> so I'm here to tell you, if you're looking for a miracle, you can have what you ask for, Amen. but you have to believe it right. and know that if it's in God's will, you can have it. Yeah, yeah. All things are possible yeah, with right. God. All you need, hello, somebody. All you need is God in your life. And you know, sometimes we get upset because we don't get our answers right away. I don't know about you, but I say it often. I'm glad that God didn't give me some of the things right. I asked for. I, I don't know about you. I'm, maybe I'm talking to you out there. Everything you ask for, did you really want it? Did you really need it? Hello, somebody. God has the spiritual divine nature to know that that was not good for you. It's just like a parent-child relationship. Children don't always know what they want or what they need. They know what they want. We want candy, and they got cavities this big in their mouths, and they can't go to the dentist. But yet we keep giving them what? Candy? Come on now. God knows that some of us have cavities. Hello, somebody. And the candy you... Oh, glory to God. The candy you've been asking for cannot fit into that cavity. You've got a cavity in your heart. You need that heart closed, closed with Jesus in there so that when you go somewhere, anywhere, they can see the light of Jesus yeah. reflecting through you as a man of God, as a woman of God. Yeah. So I say to you today, the best is yet to come yeah. in 2016. The prognosis was good. The diagnosis was good. But here we can say again, but the prognosis is better. I once said in a message that your future is so bright, you will have to wear sunglasses. I'm here to tell you, because God has a plan for your life. If you would just only go with God's plan and stop trying to get ahead of God. If the banker tells you no, there's a reason the banker tells you no. If the car dealer came and got your car, there's a reason they came to get oh, your right. car. Walk sometimes. God will yes. speak to you as you walk. Ride model sometimes. God will speak to you as you ride model. Yes. Come on, somebody. God knows what's best yes. for his children. Yes. We are the children of God. Yes. We ought to act like the children yes. of God. Hello, somebody. Angels are hovering all around you. Yes. I talk about the helicopter hovering. Angels are hovering around you like a helicopter. If you're tied up, tangled up in Jesus, I invite you today to give your life to Jesus. Don't let the new year come in and you have not surrendered your life to Jesus. Romans 10 and 9 tells you if you will confess with your mouth, believe in your heart. You can paraphrase it. If you will just believe in Jesus the Christ. And say, Lord, I don't know. I don't know who you are. I don't know anything about you. I just know you mama names God. If it was good enough for mama, mm -hmm. it ought to be good enough for you. Mm -hmm. So I will say to you today, whatever you stand in need of, God has a miracle with your name on it. On. I wrote a book about my being at the back of the line during the civil rights movement. I'm here to tell you, Shirley Caesar said, you're next in line. All right. Hello, you may be at the back, but you're next in line for a miracle. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. I want you to say that. I'm next, I'm next. In, line in line for a miracle. Oh, yeah. You know, when you call somewhere, they'll tell you you're the next caller. Mm -hmm. You know, don't hang up. Mm -hmm. Don't get out of line. Yeah. Because you're next yeah. 
in line. The next person that God will speak to you will be you. So don't give up. Don't hang up. Just wait on the Lord, I say. I say, wait on the Lord. And He is your miracle. He is your miracle. For 2016, He is your miracle for the asking. You have not? Because you ask not. Whatever you ask believing, you shall receive. Hello, somebody. How many of you need a miracle today in your life? How many need a miracle in your life today? Give God praise for that miracle right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, I don't know what I want, but what any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. I said, anyway, you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Hello, somebody. Let us come yes. to the altar and we're going to pray. Pray for those who have not. We pray for those who are down and dejected, those who are rejected, those who don't have a plan in their lives. But God has a plan for your life. Hello, somebody. Amen. Jeremiah 29, you better see yes. a plan for your life. Yes. You know, you've been writing your plans down because yes. somebody told you to write the vision down. Yes. Well, you better write it in, in pencil. Yes. And give God the eraser. Because God has a plan for your life, and it may not coincide with your plan. Amen. 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 Just call.